Best Places to Vacation New York There are many options if you plan a vacation in New York. You can visit the bustling city and enjoy its landmarks, or get out of the big city and explore some of the state's most beautiful natural areas. This article will give you a few ideas on where to stay and what to do when you are in the area. Lake Placid If you are looking for a winter getaway, Lake Placid, New York, is the perfect destination. Its location in the Adirondack Mountains provides visitors with plenty of outdoor activities and a variety of scenic attractions. For the avid hiker, several beautiful trails will take you through the area. You can also find plenty of small batch farms to check out. One of the unique things to do in Lake Placid is the Adirondack Sky Center and Observatory. This observatory boasts high altitude and low light pollution, making it a good place to stargaze. In addition, the sky ride is an excellent way to get a bird's eye view of the Adirondacks. Another great Lake Placid attraction is the High Falls Gorge. The gorge is a natural crevice that dates back almost a billion years. If you are a fan of boating, the Lake Placid boat tour is an ideal way to see the area. It is a one-hour tour that offers views of the surrounding mountains and wildlife. In addition, those interested in taking a swim will enjoy the public beach. The Mirror Lake Loop Trail is a short 2.7-mile trek along the shore of the lake. There are also several kayaking and paddleboarding rentals available. Buffalo River Works Buffalo River Works is one of the most interesting new attractions in Buffalo, New York. Located on the Buffalo River, this sprawling entertainment complex features a brewery, two outdoor ice skating rinks, and a 50-foot rock wall. In addition to offering various dining and drinking options, this redevelopment has also added a Buffalo Ferris wheel and a sports area. Developed by local entrepreneur Earl Catry, the River Works redevelopment was the result of a desire to keep the history and authenticity of the area intact. The interior space is planned to hold a 5,000-person art venue, a martial arts dojo, and a flat-track roller derby track. Other activities at the River Works include a beer garden, live music, a high ropes course, and zip lining. This new attraction has become one of the most popular summer destinations in the Buffalo area in the past few years. Another fun thing to do in the area is to visit the Buffalo Children's Museum. This educational institution is built on the premise that play is essential for children's development and growth. It features seven play zones, including a fourth-floor terrace that offers a great view of the city skyline. Glimmerglass State Park Glimmerglass State Park is an enchanting place for outdoor recreation. It's not only the site of the National Baseball Hall of Fame, but it's also home to many fun and exciting activities. Of course, you will always have things to do, from hiking to ice skating. This park is a great place for families, especially those with kids. There are plenty of outdoor activities, from kayaking to fishing. The campgrounds are well maintained and have picnic tables and fire rings. You can also enjoy nature programs. Glimmerglass State Park offers a beautiful beach if you are looking for a great place to swim. You can also take a boat tour of the lake. In the winter, the area is excellent for tubing. During the summer, you can build sand castles and play catch. While visiting this beautiful state park, you can't miss the Hyde Hall Covered Bridge, the oldest covered bridge in Otsego County. Located within the boundaries of the park, it's a 53-foot-long structure that is modeled after the Burr Arch design, which was patented in 1817. Another popular attraction is the Finnamore Art Museum, located on the lake's west side. It features the Eugene and Claire Thaw collection of American Indian art. Chittenango State Park Chittenango State Park, New York, is the perfect place to spend a day outdoors. It offers plenty of opportunities for hiking, fishing, and swimming. The park also features a beautiful waterfall, a nature trail, and a playground. Chittenango is also the hometown of the Wizard of Oz writer L. Frank Baum. The town honors his memory every year with a festival, which was once a yearly reunion of the Munchkins. Chittenango Falls are one of the most impressive waterfalls in New York. This 167-foot cascade is located in a state park and is open to the public. 
A short hike to the falls starts in the parking lot. From here, the falls can be seen from a small viewing rail. In addition to the Chittenango Falls, there are also other waterfalls in the area. These include Oxbow Falls, which is a shorter waterfall. The area is also home to a museum. Here, you can learn about the history of the site in the Erie Canal. You can also see a replica of an old canal boat. There are also a number of recreational trails for hiking and biking. Many of these are also used for cross-country skiing and paddleboarding. Depending on the season, you can also go hunting or ice skating. Chautauqua Institution Chautauqua Institution is an idyllic lakeside community that combines the pleasures of a vacation with an ongoing educational experience. This unique community draws people from all over the world to its picturesque shores. Initially founded in 1874 as a Methodist Sunday School Teachers Retreat, the Chautauqua Institution has gradually expanded its program offerings to include music, dance, and educational programming. The community offers a wide range of events throughout the year, including art openings, ecumenical worship services, lectures, and performances by the symphony orchestra, opera company, and student dance programs. Visitors to Chautauqua can also find plenty of great restaurants, shopping, and recreational activities. The summer season is when Chautauqua Institution attracts visitors from around the world. During this time, the institution hosts lectures by notable speakers, art openings, and musical performances. While the summer is the high season, the institution also offers quieter seasons in the fall and winter. Guests can visit the Smith Memorial Library, which is open year-round, or tour the museum, which includes works by Lucille Ball, Desi Arnaz, Thomas Alva Edison, and Charles Dickens. There is also a 90-minute bus tour that departs three times a day. For the avid reader, there is a bookstore at the institution open all year. Chautauqua is an ideal destination for wine lovers. Union Gables Bed and Breakfast Located in Saratoga Springs, New York, the Union Gables has a unique history, spanning over a century and a half. Its historic facade and interiors have been preserved, and the hotel's outstanding amenities include a heated outdoor pool and a classic wraparound porch. The Union Gables boasts the Nifty Most, a full breakfast cooked to order, an impressive lobby with fireplaces, and a business center. In addition, the property is pet-friendly, and offers free Wi-Fi in public areas. The Union Gables is located in the heart of the historic Saratoga Springs neighborhood. This area is packed with museums, galleries, restaurants, and bars. So whether you're into live music, horse racing, or want to stroll around the shops, you can do it all within a half mile of the property. And, for the pampered guest, there's a heated outdoor pool. Another fun fact, the Union Gables is a two-minute drive from Interstate 87. The hotel also has free self-parking. For those who want to explore the surrounding neighborhoods, there's a bus stop on Circular Street and Union Avenue, as well as a stop on the Saratoga Springs Trolley Tour. Remember to check out the nearby Children's Hands-On Museum at Saratoga during your stay. Also, check out the Francis Young Tang Teaching Museum. A short drive from the hotel is the Saratoga Casino and Raceway, the oldest racetrack in the country. Upper East Side the Upper East Side is one of New York City's most luxurious and upscale neighborhoods. It's also a great place to explore if you're looking to relax or experience a little culture. Whether you're interested in art, fashion, music, or history, there's something for you on this side of the city. One of the most popular places to visit in the Upper East Side is the Metropolitan Museum of Art. This world-renowned museum has more than 5,000 years of art in its collection. Some of the most prominent pieces include the Henry VIII Armor, Washington Crossing Delaware, and the oldest piano in the world. The Guggenheim, another museum in the Upper East Side, is also a must-see. Frank Lloyd Wright designed it, and it's considered one of the most excellent museums in the world. Another thing to check out in the Upper East Side is the Henry Clay Frick Museum, which has a massive collection of paintings, furniture, and porcelain. 
There are also events and exhibitions held here, as well as professional talks. When in the Upper East Side, you shouldn't miss a trip to Ellis Island. Once a prison and an abandoned smallpox hospital, it's now a scenic spot where you can learn more about the city's past.